In this video, we're going to explore some of the not-so-hidden gems all over Oahu next on Jaycation. Hey, what's up Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video back in Hawaii. This is the Hawaii series with me being a big Hawaii Five-O, big Magnum PI fan, the new versions. I wanted to give you some not so hidden gems because you know, they're outed already because they were on the show. Hawaii is a destination spot, so I wanna give you some not so hidden gems that I think people overlook. And the first place we're at is the La Mariana Sailing Club, and I'll tell you a little more about it inside. It's off of a marina here, and this is where Rick's restaurant in Magnum PI, the new Magnum PI, is at, and which is where the gang hangs out. But this is the real life version of it. I started off with a blue Hawaii. Now, this was built back in 1955. It's a staple here. You wouldn't think that you'd find this hidden gem here in like an industrial area with a bunch of yachts around it, but when you're driving in, you wouldn't think that this is here. Let's try out the blue Hawaii. Wow, that's that blue pina colada style right there. You got your pineapple, you also got lime here, the umbrella, too beautiful. That coconut taste, that's what's up. Well, what a start to my trip here in Oahu. So I'm starting off with a tuna sandwich here. They have thick fries that come with it. You can also get onion rings and coleslaw. I'm a tuna sandwich guy. That Cajun instilled that in me, so we're going with the tuna sandwich. I'm only gonna eat half and take the other half, eat it back at the hotel. I love this classic type of tuna sandwich. Nice mayo and tuna. You got the tomatoes, the lettuce, regular wheat bread. Mm. Very simple. I'm feeling the thick price too. After a nine hour trip from San Diego. Annette La Mariana Lahina, she passed away back in 2008, unfortunately, but the legend lives on and she wants it to go on for another 50 years. And with shows like Magnum PI still on air and basing their hangout spot as the La Mariana, I think this place is here to stay and they have great food, great drinks, great ambiance, great atmosphere, a not so hidden gem here in Oahu. On to the next one. The next not so hidden gem is finding the Mene Hune at the Aulani Resort in Koalina. There's your little hidden gem through this little keyhole right by Kalepa's store. As legend has it, the Menehune are shy, mischievous people of the Hawaiian Islands. They are said to be gifted, possibly magical craftspeople who are capable of many feats of construction overnight. Look at this. Next on your not so hidden gems is the Ho'omaluhia Botanical Garden and it's one of the most picturesque places you can visit in all of the island near Kaneohe Bay. Look at the view of this right now. That is amazing. They have a lake over here and an information center. The road driving in is one of the most scenic roads you'll ever experience. You'll see the B-roll there. Tons of parking here. You could even bring your lunch and eat here. Just be careful of the ants and the animals coming for you and for your food. It's all good. I got to eat my Helena's over here. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park or in Lost or something. And they even have some Philippine plants down towards the lake. The lake's about a 10 minute walk. Let's see, this bamboo forest looks amazing. Look at this. What type of scumbags would play golf over here? Guess uh, it's happened before if uh, they have to put in the prohibited list. We've got a lake. Another reason to not look at social media or your phone while you're in Hawaii. The Padres just lost the game bottom of the ninth to the worst team in baseball. And I'm wearing all this Padres gear. And now I feel like a big loser. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm enjoying the scenery. But yeah, that did happen in the parking lot. But I forgot about it already. How can you not with this beautiful scenery? Look at this, pandan. I see all the Filipino aunties that remind me of Mom Cation that love halaman, aka plants. They're just loving it over here. The next not so hidden gem is Mokoli'i, which is also known as the Chinaman's hat as it's shaped just like one. 
Alright, vacationers, we're here. This is this island right off the water, and we're right by the mountain range where they filmed Lost and Jurassic Park. This is awesome, really great views. Nice and quiet over here. They got a long parking lot, and it's on the way towards North Shore from Kaneohe Bay. No wonder why they love filming here in Hawaii. Man, that aloha sun just feels real good. And like I said, there's a long strip of parking around here. Nice stop off the road. Right next to Chinaman's Hat, you may notice this next not-so-hidden gem. It's Kualoa Ranch, where many movies were filmed, like Jurassic Park. Well, since I'm passing by Kualoa Ranch, I decided, you know, it's early. Let's uh, stop by and uh, walk around the grounds real quick. They also offer an assortment of tours. I see a zipline tour, horseback, jungle expedition, Jurassic Adventure Tour movie tour. You can go on their website and book these. Pick which one you want to see. I'd probably pick the movie tour. After looking at the prices of these tours, make sure you do the tour that you want to do the most because they're pretty pricey. So just pick the one you want. Inside the visitor center, you have your souvenir shop and a nice little cafe over here. You might have to pick something up. This is the legendary stars and guest wall. All you gotta know is Tom so Magnum Key. I've spent every Friday over the last 15 or so years watching Lost. Magnum. Picked up some souvenirs for the Fam Bam. That was a nice little detour. I didn't realize how huge Hualoa Ranch is. Wow. Of course I'd be behind a porta potty truck. But look at this view. Made it out to the beach here in Waikiki. There is Diamond Head right there. You've seen that on early vacation vids. Or a little further west than I usually would be in Waikiki. But we're walking towards Hilton Hawaiian Village right now. Your next not so hidden gem here in Oahu is here by the Hilton Hawaiian Village, the Rainbow Tower. There's a food truck here called Gilligan's. Over in this area is where they filmed famous show on CBS, Hawaii Five-0. And this is where Kamikona's shrimp truck was located. So a little filming location, not so hidden gem because obviously it was on broadcast television and seen all over the world. And Dano and McGarrett, they all chilled out. There were benches and they'd have their shrimp. They'd give him a small discount, but he'd always charge them and try to rip them off. Yeah, these are where those scenes were filmed. Check out this lagoon. They have one of those like tractor boats that you can pedal around on and you can go supping over here This is my type of lagoon because I know there ain't no sharks or jellyfish in this one The Halona blowhole is one of Hawaii's natural wonders Created thousands of years ago when the molten lava tubes were formed from volcanic eruptions All right, we're at the next not so hidden gem here in Oahu Island, past Cocoa Head, and this is the Halona Blowhole Lookout. And there is a blowhole down there. It's super windy. Oh, the waves are so blue, different types of blue. This is just a great place right off the road if you could find parking just to enjoy the blowhole and take some nice pictures because this is as blue as Hawaii gets. If you look real closely, you could see a sea turtle swimming in the blue waters. Just down the road is Sandy Beach Park and the waves here are just ripping. Just looking out at the waves. This is a really great not so hidden gem that's not too far of a drive from Cocoa Head and not too far from Hanama Bay. So if you can't get in there and you just come down a few more miles, you get to see this. This is a cool beach. And another one I didn't talk about was the Kaneohe Bay Sandbar. I stayed over there by Paradise Bay Resort. That sandbar is awesome. I just didn't have a chance to go there because I don't have access to any boats or kayaks. They also say when you're getting out the water, here in Hawaii especially, especially on this beach, never turn your back on the ocean because you can get trucked. This is a great snorkeling spot. This is Hanuma Bay. Now you have to pay $25 for admission to get in here and for parking and you have to get a reservation. Some of the best coral reefs are down here to check out. It just looks really nice out here, nice and calm. We're out here at the lookout in Hanama Bay. They only allow 1,400 people in per day. They do have walk-ins, so some people try to get in with the walk-ins, but they have to come in 30 minutes before opening and pray they get in. There is a new reservation system online and you can only get them two days in advance. Now on Sundays, you can't do it and they're closed Mondays, Tuesdays. Make sure you get online 7 a.m. Honolulu time and try to get your reservation here. It's a beautiful area and they're doing this in an effort to preserve the waters and the nature around here. So it's currently around 1,400 people and it's capped at that number. 
Once upon a time, early vacation days, I made it over to this Kona Brewing. This was one of my first stops when I landed here, my very first trip. I took my rental car and had dinner and a few drinks over this way. And now I'm back here with my friend Scott and his family. I'm gonna have a couple of beers and some food. Show you a little bit of Kona Brewing. And it's just outside of Cocoa Head. I love this brewery. I'm a big longboard fan. So the waitress told me that the chicken sandwich was to die for so I had to try it along with their mac salad because I'm such a mac salad fiend and then later on I headed over towards Pearl Harbor. This is my third visit ever to Hawaii and Oahu and I've never been to Pearl Harbor and I've always wanted to. Especially being from my hometown of San Diego, we're a huge military town. Shout out to all the military. You guys know I love y'alls and thank you for all your service. I've always wanted to check out Pearl Harbor. So there are free parts to Pearl Harbor that you can visit, but there are also narrated tours and you can get tickets for other things. I also see there's like a submarine museum over this way as well. Right over this way is the USS Arizona Memorial. I believe you have to take this boat over that way. You can see it from over here. You can walk over to the visitor center. They do encourage donations. I see some donation boxes around here. But you can really just walk around here and read about the history of Pearl Harbor and World War II. It's really important to honor America's history and the people that lost their lives that day on December 7th, 1941. It was one of the biggest attacks on American soil next to 9-11, which is sad because that happened in my lifetime, in our lifetime, and we were here to see that. I definitely encourage you to take a stroll around here and read about the history and just remember, just remember what happened here. Parking here at Pearl Harbor is free. Now on the weekends, I'm sure it's a whole different story. Kind of like in San Diego, Balboa Park. Parking's probably hard to find. Right across the street is Aloha Stadium where the Pro Bowl used to be held. Unfortunately, the NFL went corporate. Coming to Hawaii was a reward for players after a great season. You know, they made the all-pro team, the Pro Bowl team. They usually spend, after the Super Bowl, a week here and get to hang out with other Pro Bowlers and that whole fraternity. But it's so corporate nowadays, but they don't do it here in Hawaii and I'm sure the Pro Bowl is missed here. Ala Moana is valued at six billion dollars and is considered the world's largest outdoor mall. Made it to Ala Moana. Last time I was here I just tried the Jollibee. This time we're gonna do a little shopping. I like that. Don't cry over spilled milk. It could have been beer. All right guys so stay tuned. We're gonna have more videos with special guests, Amanda and Felix Eats. What's going on, Jaycationers? So we're actually friends, so we're hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not gonna film much tonight. No. Yeah, yeah, just uh, uh, Pohano. Just dinner. But Pohano, we, right? Yeah, we uh, just went to Mai Tais. They have a good happy hour. Their happy hour was pretty cheap. 650 for the mango sunset I had. Mine was 650 as well. I had the lily koi, lily koi mojito. That was delicious. And the appetizers were cheap too, right? Yeah, I think they were what, like seven dollars? Ten dollars and under. And that's here in Ala Moana. So Ala Moana Shopping Center. Yeah. yeah, so check it out. Pretty good happy hour deals, four to seven. They also have a late night happy hour here yeah. too. Subscribe to their channel and we're gonna go to another place out here by Hilton Hawaiian Village in Waikiki. Just chilling under a palm tree. I'm here hanging out with my friend Scott and his family. They're out on the water. He's paddle boarding. I'm just chilling here in the shade, trying to get 10 shades of dark. Have you guys seen this Hawaii video yet? Well, make sure you check it out. And I'll see you over there and in the words of Jaycation. Stay traveling, Jaycationers. Let's go.